Employment and Labor Relations Court Judge Mori Nonyango suspended the vacancy notice by the Communications Authority of Kenya for the position of Chief Executive Officer. This follows a suit lodged by the Information Communication Technology Association of Kenya, who argued that the process was an illegality. The judge ruled that the leave granted to the association will serve as stay pending the hearing of the case. The regulator had re-advertised for the post of Director General CEO in May this year. Still in Nairobi, East African Breweries Limited has launched a 532 million shilling fund to enable recovery in the sector. The fund will help outlets and bars hardest hit by disruptions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The support, which is subject to lifting of current restrictions, will fund qualifying entities for two years as from next month. Elsewhere, BAT Kenya is set to unveil a 2.5 billion shilling tobacco-free oral nicotine factory by the third quarter of this year. BAT Kenya Managing Director Beverly Spencer Obatoimbo says the new factory will increase the farm's manufacturing and exports footprint in addition to creating more jobs. And finally, the Kenya Association of Manufacturers has partnered with Equity Group Foundation and COVID-19 Fund to support local manufacturers in production of personal protective equipment. So far, over 95 local manufacturers have received training on quality development of PPEs. We have a front uh, lane with uh, seven, uh, Kitui, Nakuru, uh, this factory here. EPZ, uh, Industrial Area, Roiro, and Kikuyu. And all of those uh, have now been able to produce quality that has not only met the standards of our technical uh, committee, but has met uh, international standards. Local capacity exists to do a lot of the things that we import into the country. And for example, in the facility we are in today at Shona, they employ 650 people. And we all know the multiplier effect that four other lives are touched by those people who are employed. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.